Philly Stoic, it's Monday morning. And at the same time, it's the last day of September. It's September 30th. Are you finishing this September strong, happily? I wish, and I'm trying. Let's have this one. September 30th, you cannot touch me. If you lay violent hands on me, you will have my body, yes, but my mind will remain with Stilpo. Zeno quoted in Diogenes Laredus, Lives of the Eminent Philosophers, 7.1.24. Zeno is not claiming magic powers, but simply that while his body can be victimized, his body, his physical body, the flesh, philosophy protects his mind. Cultivator under his teacher, Stilpo. With an inner forces whose gates can never be broken from the outside, only surrender. That's true. If you stress, if you surrender your mind, yeah, that's probably someone else's possession. As far as you're not surrendering it, then your mind never be broken down. Not at all. Just flesh outside. Look at Robin Hurricane Carter, the boxer wrongly convicted of homicide who spent nearly 20 years in prison. He will say, I don't acknowledge the existence of the prison. It doesn't exist for me. Does it make sense to you? Of course the prison literally exists. It's there. The building is there. And he was physically inside. From us to look at, he's in there. But he refused to let his mind be contained by it. That's what we're talking about. He's there. Well, yeah, physically, all the chemical components, carbon components, yes, there. But his mind is not carbon component, it's something else. It's within us. So he's not going to surrender himself that I've, I'm inside the prison. I've been contained. No, not at all. What about you? Can you do that? Like Nelson Mandela. That's a power that you have too. You do have it. Everybody has one. All the same power that I don't acknowledge this sadness. I don't acknowledge this frustration. I don't acknowledge this, this limitation. It's, no, you don't have to. You have a power to, no, it doesn't. Hopefully, you will never have to use this power in a situation of violence or grave injustice. Hopefully. Hopefully, but you know that life. However, in the midst of any and every kind of adversary, it is there. Your life, our life, all others' lives. We don't predict that it never ever injustice or violence would happen at all. We can't. Life is always up and down. But make sure you hold back your power. No matter what's happening to your body, no matter what the outside world inflicts on you, your mind, your mind can remain philosophical. It's still yours. It's untouchable. And in, in a way, then, so are you. Imagine your mind is not untouchable, then typically goes to your entire body as well. You don't believe it? Try it. If someone triggers you, be upset. Just a, just regular driving. You drive a car, somebody cut you out. Well, physically happen. What are you going to do? Your body, and you, you kind of feel the heart beating. It's you know, rising up. Well, be careful. You have the power that I don't acknowledge that. And I don't acknowledge that one 
makes me frustrated, makes me disappointed, makes me fearful of it. You don't have to be like that. Thank you. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.